So one of the great things about working at ESS is that we get lots of appreciative emails from troops who've worn our goggles in combat and who have sustained an, a, an IED incident, but who came away with it with their eyesight because they wore the goggles. So the, the common photos look like this. It's thumbs up ESS, thanks for the profile MVG goggles, they saved my eyes. But the other common theme of these pictures is that the lower part of the face of these troops is all torn up with lacerations and, and, uh, and injury that we'd rather not see them have to sustain. So we figured, why not create a lower face protection accessory for the Profile MVG that's very light, that's very easy to use. It simply clips on over the Profile MVG goggle that easy and uh, it moves with your goggles, so it's very simple to wear. It's very lightweight, and you can see that the mouth area is cut out so it's easy to communicate with your peers. They can see your mouth moving, you can use signals and the, the motions that's, that are used in law enforcement to indicate counting, that sort of thing. All can be done with the profile M MVG attached with the Cortex clip. Okay, so what are the technical details about the Cortex mask? The most important part of the mask is the, the drape, as we call it. The lower part of the mask is made from an aramid fiber stack that is uh, consistent with the same kind of panels you'd find in a level NIJ3A ballistic vest that would be used to, to stop, say, a 9mm round. Now, the Cortex mask, just by the nature of its size and shape, is not appropriate for stopping gunfire threats, but it is great for stopping fragmentation hazards. Uh, so, you know, if you're in the law enforcement profession and you are, are doing entries where you might have flashbangs uh, in your vicinity or you might have uh, things being hurled fast at you, this would be a very robust level of protection that you can also see is very pliable. When you're wearing the goggle and the strap is tight, you can move this part so you can actually achieve a cheek weld uh, with this product. And it's unlike the other mandible type protectors that you see on some helmet systems that are advertised widely where the, uh, the coverage is large, the field of view is inhibited by that system. And with this, the goggle moves with your face and the mask moves with the goggle. And it's very simple to keep your range of motion and your, your ability to see. The Cortex mask is available in military colors or classic law enforcement black. And it's very lightweight. It only weighs about a half a pound. So when you're not uh, wanting to have a heavy system in front of your face, you can use the Cortex mask and you can hardly feel it's there. It's also easy to snap on your goggle when you need it, snap off your goggle, keep in your kit bag when you don't need it. And when you're wearing it, you can even simply perch it on top of your helmet when you, you want to take a little break and the threat level is low. So if you're considering face protection, trying to avoid those facial lacer lacerations, please consider the Cortex mask from ESS.